Hey, butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all of the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support here on the channel. It is always appreciated, my love. And also a major shout out to everyone who is patronized from my tea and candle company, as well as um, those who have purchased any of my books and things of that nature that have been published over the years. If you're interested in all of my links and things and just everything, it's always down in the comments, in the pinned comment. You'll see everything up in there, okay? So this is an ancestor message that is continuing on from the last ancestor message um, that we did not too long ago. And in that message, I felt like I needed to start like writing down like continuous um the continuation of the messages and it made me think about a reader that um i used to watch um egyptian intuitive something like that um i used to watch her and i remember she used to have like a notebook and now it makes sense because i'm like i think i need a notebook to write down um so i feel like a lot of these messages are meant to be continuous and so before we got in before i get into this session um i actually had channel i had a page of channel notes and so i don't know if it's all going to be in this video or if it's something that i am going to split it up because you know i don't like to make videos more than like 15 to 18 minutes at the most i really don't like to do videos over that amount um i used to do them a lot but yeah i don't like to do them anymore <laughs> long story short and so with that message where we left off that was getting into the energy of you having a protected soul um there were some soulless people who were being controlled by um, others who know the truth. So I brought up a lot about Cypher from the Matrix. So Cypher knew about the Matrix. Cypher knew, you know, the difference between the worlds, the truth. Okay. And this is getting the energy of um, individuals who know the truth about the world, but they're doing things um, to keep certain souls trapped or to keep them stuck into a certain way of being or a certain way of life, even though they know the truth of certain aspects right and so those who don't really have control over their soul they're being controlled by this master puppeteer you know this master manipulator energy of what i was feeling um and they're actually benefiting from the people who don't know their true worth or their power and so that's where we left off at with the baby not the seven of swords um that's where we left off at with the energy of uh, your ancestors claiming you, okay? They have claimed you. They have put a mark over you uh, with this Passover to let this entity know that they can't attach to you, okay? This entity can't collect you. They can't attach to you. They can't do the things with you that they're able to do with the other wandering souls that are out here that are lacking direction or lacking connection lacking true connection with the spirit world if that makes sense okay they're here on a natural like basic level energy it's like they have an intercessor energy but you have a direct connection to that spirit world okay and so i had notes and things on here so i'm just going to go through the notes and just as the reading goes along i do feel like from this is going to be split into two different readings but the first thing of what I had that I wrote out on was watch out for those who create problems and then the solution. Okay, so there's been a lot of that that's going on within society in general, where they create the problem and then they turn around and give you the solution like, hey, take this. Like they're not the ones who just got you sick. You get what I'm saying? And we're starting this reading off with the moon with Kansu. Now, that is another piece of information that got changed over time in the centuries because the moon is actually a masculine energy. And the sun is actually a feminine energy. So as you can see, back in the day, like ancient times, the moon was masculine. The feminine was, you know, it was more of the sun goddesses and things of that nature. And so that just shows how through history, 
um, a lot of things have been changed and as information has been passed on through time, information has been passed on incorrectly. And this is giving a vibe of watching out for who or what you get your information from of making sure that they're passing down correct information to you. Because some people are getting their information from other people who get their stuff straight off of Google, the first choice on there, okay? And most times that stuff is fluff and it's incorrect and it's wrong. Okay? And with this moon energy starting off, it's starting off with some hidden agenda is what I'm feeling with this moon energy um, and the masculine aspect of like, watch out for a... a a hidden agenda for why something is happening or why something um, is being brought to the surface, I guess you could say, okay? This is giving on a mass scale, a mass scale of confusion, like even in different technology waves and things in the air around us, you know, in the air is giving like something coming in and changing some, cause I'm hearing, I'm not hearing, but like I'm feeling this energy of like DNA being swapped and changed. And that makes sense because now when I think about my notes down at the bottom, it was getting into this energy of someone trying to swap souls or swap energy with people who were supposed to rule. It's like swapping the energy out of those who were called to rule or to have power, you know what I'm saying, within this dominion. But swapping out and taking their abundance and taking the rule of what they're supposed to have as if it's theirs and then making you feel like you're less than or you're not um, as good as like these are these ulterior motives that's coming out. If you found yourself in a space like that where there was this energy or a group of people or a leader, whatever the case is, who tried to make you feel like you're seeing something wrong or incorrectly or need to change your views on it. It's giving gaslighting, but on a massive scale. Someone who's gaslighting um, a mass group of people at one time to get them to believe or follow a certain thing. But you're a soul who is not, you're not taken aback by that energy. They can't control your energy because you know who you are. And I don't want to just say chosen one because the spiritual community that ran that shit down in the drain and they don't really understand it. Um, <laughs> the spiritual community that ran so much stuff down the drain. Um, but it's giving you having a specialized DNA to you. And now I'm thinking about the RH negative blood types and how that brings about a whole nother bout of um, magic to you. If you have a negative blood type, most likely you're RH negative. But it's just certain things don't, like you're very rare and certain things don't work for you. You know what I'm saying? This is even given like that old blood type energy, like the person who is able to give or feed everyone, feed nations, but not everyone should be able to feed your energy or who you are. That's what it's giving. Like you are a source. You are a source creator. And there are energies that know that they need other energies to, to be the source to their energy. But it's like they're trying to swap with life forces, with different, you know, bodies to get their soul so that they have that same longevity. The hell? 
<laughs> what the hell are we tapping into, ancestors? That's why that's why the ancestors been having me record at nighttime. I'm gonna be honest because it's like we're uncovering things that's done in the dark. There's a lot of things that are being being done in the dark or trying to keep people in the dark. Okay, which is why when the lights were on, my ancestors was like, take your glasses off recently. Like it's something about seeing things below the surface and just with your eyes. Some things you can't see it with your eyes. You got to feel it with your spirit. And right now we are walking in a time where we have to start testing the spirit with more than our eyes. We have to test the spirit by the energy that is behind that spirit, the motive behind it. And you're going to come to find that the motive between a lot of spirits out here are to gain control of your energy. And you really aren't being fed anything. I can't get over that blood type energy. I'm talking to a lot of people who are RH negative or a blood type O. You have a lot of rarity to you. And that's why some are like haunting your, your energy. They want your energy. They want what you have to offer. But in that, I feel like there is a lot of misinformation that's out there as well to confuse those who are meant to be these source energies there's energy for a source. There's energies out here that want you to be sleep and not know who you are. It wasn't I just saying having the energy to feed other people? The queen of ox is at the bottom, which is um, Tashiri, the mother of the king. So she was an advisor to her husband, her son, and her grandson as kings. Okay. She was feeding them. She birthed them. Okay. Pay homage. And... She was their advisor. She fed their energy. Although they were leading something, she was the energy that was conducting all of this, right? But this is giving a vibe of an energy that is trying to erase or don't want you to know your true power. They want you to be sleep on who you are. They want you to feel like you have to depend on someone else, on what they have to offer or what they have to bring, when in reality, you've been the source energy all along. It's been you, but they want you to seek outside yourself and go to another energy that really depends on you. I knew this was going to be two videos because I ain't even got through all the points. So the next piece that I had on here was the fact that many don't realize that they're being controlled in this world. Okay. Um, and when you're called to be. Uh, I need to put some more water in my thing. It might be out of. No, it shouldn't be out of water. I don't know. Um, there's some who don't realize that they're being controlled either because of how it's been packaged. I'm hearing my ducks outside and it's literally 2.30 in the morning right now. Um, it's like they package it in something to make it look good but it ain't really good is what is given right now. Yeah, you got the lovers coming out and then the warrior of scepters in the reverse. So that's giving deception. Yep, with the devil right under there. I knew it was giving some deception. Someone doing something for their own ulterior motives, like wanting to take your source energy away. Don't let anyone take power over your source energy. Anytime they try to tell you that you're nothing without someone or something, they're trying to take your source energy away as a way to fuel this massive thing that's going on.
that's why it feels like we have a lot of soulless people walking around because they've given their soul away. They're given, they've given their energy away. They've given their power away. And now it's like, it's given the energy of, you have a million dollars, right? You hire somebody to be your power of attorney. You give them the million dollars and then they feed you a thousand dollars a week as an allowance. It's giving that energy like someone, but it happens by them talking you into it to make you feel like, oh yeah, you need this. We have Pisces and Gemini energy out here. So that's and Capricorn. Yeah. It's giving confused the masses, okay? Your ancestors want you to take your power back. Some of your ancestors, when they were here on Earth, they got caught up in this. They got caught, I'm hearing scandal. They got caught up in this. Because this feels like a massive televised energy. Because now I'm hearing the revolution will not be televised. Okay. It's giving you need to wake up to this truth. You need to wake up to this truth of what's happening around you at this time. With this moon and the four swords, you need to wake up to this truth of what's happening around you. Because as long as you stay asleep, the more is the devil's playground I'm hearing. Um, what did they say? An idle mind is the devil's playground or something like that. Isn't that the saying that a lot of us were raised up on? So your mind needs to always be moving. Your mind needs to always be learning. Your mind needs to always be, you know, developing or evolving in some way. Yeah, four of scarabs that's coming out. So stop giving away your magic to other people. This is what keeps coming... Because with the four of scarabs, it's a sense of being selfish. And it makes me think of the aspect of not sharing your magic with everyone. We did that reading a while ago on I am keeping my magic safe or to myself. I, that's why I need to start writing these messages down. But this is connecting to that. You have some magic of energy that was passed down from your ancestors to you. Okay. Knowledge, information, truth about your existence, truth about who you are truth about who you really were and you need to keep a lot of that to yourself because I'm hearing bounty hunters someone around who like is even giving the sense of like hound dog energy I'm feeling of like with the bounty hunters like when they sense someone who knows who they are or they're in their power it's like they become some type of a target for something I've been thinking about takeoff a lot lately. Yeah, we got the judgment coming out. Hmm. It even gives a sense of they may even try to judge you and what you do, but behind the scenes, they do the same things. But they don't want you to be in your power, so that's why they don't want you to do it. They're not going to give you the keys to overthrow them. They're going to give you little bit by little bit. Like, this is what this is giving. But with this judgment, I feel like someone's spirit is going through judgment. So someone who has been like a leader of the confusion, because I'm getting an energy of there's multiple leaders around. Now we have 20 minutes. Yeah, we're going to split this up. I'm getting the energy of there is someone who was over a certain group of people to keep them intact, right? But in that, 
they're going through about a judgment now. I feel like some of them are even at the end of their life at this time. It's giving hella masculine energy. Yeah, we're going to pick this up in a second. Video. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone is at some end of life aspect and they're being judged for things that they've done. Oh, your ancestors giving the tea. The ancestors giving the tea tonight, honey. They giving the tea tonight. They giving the tea tonight. Let me. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I love you all. And as always, always be real. Always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. Period. And as always, continue to bloom. We're going to keep continuing this conversation because